the U.S., Army has launched the Robotic Combat Vehicle Program that includes three variants of robotic systems, light, medium, and heavy. The U.S. Army envisions employing our CVs as scouts and escorts for manned fighting vehicles to deter ambushes and to guard the flank of mechanized formations. The ground robotic texturant systems has in designing vehicles are the wingmen of the battlefield. As technology advances, so does our ability to protect soldiers. Unmanned ground robotic platforms give soldiers the boost and assistance they need to continue the fight. Textron systems and how and how technologies have developed multiple ground robotic vehicles in a variety of sizes, weights, and power profiles. The Ripsaw M3 technology is the newest generation platform within the Ripsaw family of vehicles. The technology demonstrator incorporates the familiar flat deck configuration from the Ripsaw M5 robotic vehicle and provides an obstructed deck space to accommodate multiple payloads. The Ripsaw M3 was initially built to address the next big challenge for ground robotics which is wet gap crossing. This new platform has given us the opportunity to incorporate lessons learned from the M5 robotic vehicle platform into a smaller but mission-capable variant. The Ripsaw 3 is designed to be used as a multi-role platform. It was presented with different payloads including a 30mm cannon during the first day. The Ripsaw M3 was fitted with a Kongsberg's common remotely operated weapons station armed with Javelin missiles and with a Kongsberg cross turret and an Arnold defense rocket launcher system. The Ripsaw 3 could be one of the candidates for the light version in the U.S. Army Robotic Combat Vehicle Program. The robotic system has a weight of around 8 tons and can be transported by a CH-47 transport helicopter. It also has amphibious capabilities and is powered in the water thanks to a water jet. 